Okay, everybody, we have another update mid-December. I know it's getting close to January, but I wanted to get it out anyway today. Because we have some news from the arena and indoor football circles. Yes, yes, we do. I thought it was going to be a little bit later in the week to get this out, but I guess not. You know, um, I'm Big Boy Sports. You already know who I am. Um, and y'all know also that we talk about the arena and indoor football stuff a lot on this channel and first things first we got the arena professional football league trying to get their stuff together trying to get things together they've added a second team we know charlotte is the team that started it all for this league and the pennsylvania union they've left the american indoor football alliance and have joined this league so lower fees and stuff like that obviously you know there was like i think it's only like six thousand dollars to join this league um you know obviously you know charlotte didn't want to pay too much to go to the nal that's why they're not that's why they were rumored they were only rumored to go and they never actually went they probably bought the fee and said uh uh this is a little bit too high for us and so that's why they would start their own league you know Again, I don't know. I don't know how this is gonna work out. This is only a two-team league as it stands, um, and you know who who else is going to join? Don't know yet. I do not know yet. Meanwhile, in the AWFC, we got some uh, interesting non-conference type things. You know, the AWFC is playing teams in the American Indoor Football Alliance. You know, when Watchy Valley, they're playing the Las Vegas Kings on the week-wide bye week, you know, or rather on the league-wide bye week for the AWFC on April the 23rd, and we'll go over to the AWFC here right now, because, or rather the AIFA right now, and we'll talk about them right here, right now. They've announced that the formerly St. Louis Bandits, now St. Charles Bandits, will be in their league and that brings this league up to six teams. The AIFA has six teams as it stands. Las Vegas and Birmingham are also in, it seems. But they don't have any logos on the site yet. So if you go to the AIFA site, I don't think there's still I still don't think there's any logos for either of those two teams on the site yet, which leads me to believe that they're travel teams. That leads me to believe that, because again, neither of these two teams have home arenas yet. And they, they haven't announced anything about that. I, or at least I haven't looked into it that they've announced home arenas and stuff like that. So I don't know. I genuinely don't know about that. You know. Um, going back up here, we're talking CIF, you know, real quick. Um, Sioux City, they got Lorenzo Brown. That is huge. We already know that Billings assigned a bunch of guys and looked like a stacked roster. But this is really huge, you know. Sioux Falls wasn't that great this year, and I mean, looks like Lorenzo Brown's, you know, going off to Sioux City, and looks like it's going to be some interesting times in the CIF this year, going to be very interesting to see. Again, CIF has gotten their act together, you know, it's not compl not completely together, but it, it gotten it together, you know, they still have their own problems that they can't seem to get rid of yet. And hopefully they don't carry over into the season. But, I mean, it is what it is. Um, the AAL, the only thing that the only thing that made headlines was the fact that they are potentially starting an AAL 2 again. And that was, a, that was a rumored idea from way back when. But it seems like their season, you know, the AAL's fifth season, not the AAL 2. The AAL... Will start up their fifth season in April and it'll run till the middle of July. So um, th that's really the only thing I could gather from the press statement release. You know, the AL2 is seeming to be a developmental league, but you but you can't have a developmental league if you don't have you know a developed league in the first place. So th there's a problem there. I mean, and I mean the, these third tier leagues like the APFL and the AIFA and the AAL. You know they're shuffling. They're shuffling people around. Like I swear, you know, you know, like there was a director of operations. Well, I think we, or rather, a director of team relations or whatever that we were talking about on the channel like a couple months back. We did an interview with um, one channel 
on YouTube who's, who was in the AL, like a director of operations or whatever for the AL. She then moved on to the APFL for some reason. Like, I, 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 don't, I don't know what's going on with the whole behind-the-scenes, you know, shuffling with these leagues and their owners and stuff like that. I don't know. I really don't know, man. Um, the only thing for the IFL is really the Columbus Wild Dog situation, which might not be too much of a situation. Um, the company that operates the team is separated from the Germains. Um, there's also the whole thing with a trademark seemingly expiring on the Wild Dog's name, so potentially could be a new name for the Columbus Wild Dogs, but we'll see. We know they're coming back in 2023. They sent out Wild Dogs sent out a release on that a few days ago, so that I wouldn't worry about this too much. That's really the only thing that I could gather. Of course, you know, IFL teams are still signing players and stuff as it stands right now. And the big one, the NAL. Last but not least, the NAL will begin their season on April the 23rd. It will run through July 23rd with the with the um, semifinals on the 30th of July and the NAL Championship on August 7th. So that's 16 weeks of NAL action for us all. You know, not as much as the IFL. IFL, you know, you know, has their you know 19 week you know 16 uh, game season. Um, but here, here's the kicker for the NAL: the schedule is imbalanced. Uh, Albany, Orlando. Um, San Antonio and you know Columbus they have two bye weeks they play 12 games instead of 14 you know who does play 14 games Jacksonville and Carolina they're the two teams that are playing 14 games so something's wrong here yeah something's definitely wrong here there there's got to be some there's got to be some sort of you know craziness available to where you have Jacksonville and Carolina playing seven home games, seven road games, 14 games in total, and yet everybody else is playing 12. I, I thought we got rid of these schedule imbalances. These have these have been a long-standing issue in the NAL, a long-standing issue. Like at least, you know, at least 20, uh, 2019 was probably the only season that has looked quite right. In regards to the NA schedule, like the, that's the only season where, and that was my first season watching the NAL, where the schedule looked right. You know, twenty twenty one obviously a little bit, you know, a little truncated, but everything worked out. Everything was, you know, normal. You know, schedules looked normal and stuff like that. Sure, there was some, you know, like teams playing like three home games to start, and then and then you know five road games to end it. That's obviously not good, but. You know, everybody still had the same amount of games. But now, you got this type of stuff again, where you have schedule imbalances again. This happened in 2020 when the schedule was released, and, you know, it was not, it was not, it, it was not perfect. It was not perfect at all. Like, the schedule 2020 was not perfect before the season got canceled anyway. Not perfect at all. Like, there were teams playing 13 games. There were teams playing 14. There were teams playing 12 games. And you had a 17 league then, potentially. This is only a six-team league, you know, and again, we're stuck at six teams. We kind of knew this, you know, with the whole West Virginia thing not panning out, Jersey going back to the AL. We knew that. So, the NAL, again, that messed up on the schedule. Like, don't they usually begin in the uh, in the first week of April? They usually begin the first week of April, and I just don't understand why they can't get it together. So, I mean, April 23rd is kind of late now. It's kind of late to be doing a game, you know, but it is what it is. It is what it is, you know. Not gonna, not gonna whine and cry about it too long, because it is what it is, man. So, the NAL, they, 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 they got, they got, they got a schedule out. We know when the teams will play. Um, it's just the fact that it's just not balanced. That's the problem here. It's not balanced, you know, for everybody, you know. Things are going to get a little weird with come playoff time if you have, you know, if somebody gets shut out to playoffs because they didn't get, they didn't play the same amount of games as everybody else. You know, it is what it is. I mean, I, I, I'm just saying. 
So yeah, that'll that'll pretty much do it for our update here in the uh, middle of December, early January. Um, that, that's really it for right now. Um, if anything else comes, we'll be back. You know, obviously we'll be back in like January. Remember that this week at indoor football will be returning uh, March the twelfth. So around that week, you know, we'll have you know it'll it'll be back. We'll be we'll be back doing weekly indoor football videos reminder also the usfl is going to have weekly videos starting in april probably um potentially i don't know right now we'll, we'll, we'll discuss that when we get to the um new year update we'll discuss that when we get to the new year update for the channel um, and everything like that so with all that being said everybody i'm gonna skedaddle get on up out of here and not take up any more of your time i hope y'all enjoyed you know looking at this and you know and be sure to Google everything, you know, because, I mean, you know, too, because, I mean, Google is your best friend when it comes to trying to find out this stuff, you know, or join the 50-yard posting Discord. That is also where I find a lot of my stuff, you know, here that I get to talk about and everything like that. Of course, you know, Facebook groups as well, Arena Fan, although Arena Fan's kind of dead and everything like that. And I'll see you guys later tonight. To talk about the NFL Week 15 because there's a lot that happened in Week 15 of the NFL season. So I got I got I got to skedaddle, got to get some work in, and get this up. Take care, everybody.